Who won the UEFA? Liverpool. Liverpool. When did they win? Tottenham. When? When was it? Mm. Was there any cup? First June. Oh. Okay. Welcome back to those one of the most precious days of the week. And it's a Thursday, the day where we share love, inspiration, and talent. Welcome back to your favorite show of the week. It's the Art Involvement Show. Right about last week, we just hosted the National Chairperson of the Democratic Party, the National Youth Chairperson, and we we're discussing how can I make it first class in a third world nation like Zambia. And we're today we're giving you another yet another great, great show, another great topic with a great person in the house. And we'll be talking about the gateway to uncommon success. And the big question is, what is this gateway to uncommon success? And sharing with me this topic, and I'll be your host, Mapiki, is an author of a book called The Gateway to Uncommon Success. Mr. Savior, sir, welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Mr. Mapiki. Thank you so much. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a pleasure having you around. The pleasure is all mine, sir. You are our knowledge bank for today, and we've got a lot of questions for you, sir. So, um, the gateway to uncommon success, on a direct answer, uh, what, what do you mean, the gateway to uncommon success? Okay, basically, I would start my presentation with um, a short statement. Um, people have confused success in a, a lot of um, misconceptions and confusing phenomena, but yet, um, the gateway to uncommon success, it's something that is so direct. That is why I've uh, shortened it into one word, mentorship. Oh. Yeah, but basically, um, people have got different definitions about success. If you ask people what is success, others would say, okay, success maybe it's having a lot of money, success maybe it's building maybe a big house, maybe by the lake or maybe by the beach. Probably <laughs> maybe success would be maybe having a lot of brand new cars. Exactly. Uh, but <laughs> basically, uh, I personally define success uh, specifically in my book. Uh, success is doing what you are supposed to do while you came on this planet, subtracted by what you do. Meaning every human being that is living here on Earth has got an assignment. Okay. So therefore, if the assignment, if it is to move from point A to point B, then God will judge you how you succeed by what you are supposed to do on Earth minus what you've done. Oh, this okay. simply implies that someone might be the wealthiest man on the planet, but yet when they die, to go they a failure because they've not completed their journey to success. Exactly. So that's what I would simply uh, quote mm, on that. Amazing, amazing. I think your book should be a very powerful book. Yeah. Okay, so um, you, have de you have described it in a short word. In fact, one word, the gateway to uncommon success is actually mentorship. Mm -hmm. um, someone is there watching and they're asking, well, what is mentorship? How would you define mentorship? Okay, a mentorship, this is the intentional transferring of someone's giftings, their expertise, their experience, their knowledge, their wisdom into someone to, in order to perpetuate excellence in that place. Okay. For example, uh, mentorship, uh, I'll bring it in a way of sports. We, we know sports are it's one of the most amazing uh, fantasies that people usually exactly. find pleasure in. So um, if I'm playing soccer today, my pick, okay. then I'm probably maybe the, the superstar in the club. Then while I'm playing soccer, I don't have someone whom I'm training on how to shoot, maybe on how to go about soccer. Then if I die, I'll die with my skills. So therefore, mentorship it is to get what you've received, what you've learned in any endeavor, in any area of your gifting. Then you pass it to someone with an intention. It's not something that ha happens like accidentally. It is something that is intentional. So intention. mentorship simply, it is a transference of my gift, my wisdom, what I know into someone called my mentee. Okay, yeah, yeah. then you are a mentor. Yes. Then the person you're mentoring is called a mentee. Yes, it's a mentee. Oh. <clears throat> okay, all right. So, Savia, in your book, you wrote something about um, 
uh, the need for mentorship? What, 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 is the, what is your say on that? What is the need for mentorship? Okay, um, basically, I can highlight a point on the need for mentorship because mentorship helps us to avoid unnecessary losses and tragedies and perhaps even regrets. Because I've come to discover that the most uh, something that can, the worst thing that can happen to a human being is regretting in life. So uh, the need for mentorship is when people subject themselves to intentional mentorship. It means they will avoid unnecessary losses. Let's take, for instance, um, I'll cite an example, okay? You find that mentorship starts within, the moment a, a mother conceives, when the sperm and the egg, the, the, the zygote is formed, uh, while the, the fetus is, is uh, beginning to develop, it is developing, the fetus will be receiving oxygen from the mother, will be receiving nutrients from the mother, that is mentorship. Oh, wow. We come to this planet as primary mentees, we receive. So therefore, the need for mentorship, if people can subject themselves to mentorship, they will probably avoid waste mistakes. Okay. I believe uh, life it is a heavy load which you can't carry alone. <laughs> whether you are a musician, whether you are an artist, whether you, you sing, whether you are a dancer, whatever you do, there is always someone who is ahead of you in that field. There is someone who knows more than you. Exactly. So for you to avoid the pain of worrying what I'm going to do, uh, a lot of frustrations to pile up in you, you need to look out for people who are geniuses in that place. Exactly. Okay? Well, um, Albert Einstein said, everyone is a genius. But if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a, a tree, it will believe that I'm stupid because <laughs> it can't <laughs> climb a tree. So therefore, if I want to aspire to be a musician, I'll look, at, I'll look at for people who inspire me when they start singing. Then I'll go and find out what is the secret to singing. Then they'll review to me, no, as I started singing, these are my changes that I had faced. They will give you uh, direct tips to avoid cost in your life or probably regretting. So I believe mentorship, the need for mentorship will make you avoid mistakes in life. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, if you're just joining us, you're watching us right here on the Art Embodiment Show, a place where we share inspiration, love, and talent. And today we're talking about the gateway to uncommon success. And our host today, who is our guest, is Xavier Mutale, who is an author of a book called Mentorship, the Gateway to Uncommon Success. Now, um, Xavier, in, in your book, I was just scrubbing through it, you, 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 you wrote something about the power of mentorship. Um, what is the power of mentorship? Uh, if, if mentorship is to be a gateway to uncommon success, then what is the power of mentorship? Um, basically, the power behind mentorship, it is that mentorship, um, it will preserve the, life, the longevity of any organization. For example, if I'm a supervisor of a company, probably maybe a manager of a company, then if I don't intentionally get my wisdom, I don't get what I know into someone that is um, maybe my subordinate, it means all that I know will die with me. So therefore, mentorship becomes a power because it helps you perpetuate your excellence, meaning okay. what I know, I will pass it to someone, meaning that company will be preserved. For example, if I'm maybe I'm an artist, maybe I'm, I have got a huge organization that is uh, aimed at any type of business, then what I know if I die with it without uh, passing it on to someone else, it means I'm killing the life of that organization. Okay. So the power of mentorship, it helps to perpetuate excellence. Okay. Uh, let's, let's take, for example, um, Moses, if we were to look at the most powerful, inspirational book that has ever been written, that is the Bible, we find that Moses, for his excellence to uh, help the children of Israel to, from the land of slavery to a, a promised land, he had to empower Joshua, the, the, the mentee. So meaning, if you mentor someone, you preserve the life of what you know to be lost. But yet you find that um, in Africa, to be specific, in Zambia, uh, people have got this mentality, but if I know something, I have to die with it, I have to keep it. Because if <laughs> I teach someone, they will be more than me. <laughs> and the secret behind mentorship is that once you mentor someone, if they don't make you be greater than you, then you're not a good mentor. Okay. Because mentorship simply means whomever you're going to mentor, they have to be twice even more than you. Okay. Yeah, that's what I can say about the power of mentorship. Yeah. No, 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 just about that, just about that. There's something in your book which says um, you can never succeed beyond your mentorship boundaries. What did you mean by that? Um, basically, I would equate that to say um, your mentorship levels, it is directly proportional to how you're going to be effective in life. Uh, let's take, for instance, if you want to climb up maybe any high top building, the the length of the of the la, of the ladder that you're going to use will determine how long you're going to go. So you can never succeed beyond your mentorship boundaries. 
I believe I brought out a point in my book that we are a sum total of what we've learned from someone else. Okay? Uh, my pick here, host in me here, there's someone who mentored you in terms of presenting. Yeah, so true. therefore, the level of mentorship that you've received determines how you're going to be how you're going to project this presentation. So you can never succeed beyond what you know. All we know is what we've received from our mentors. So if you want to more know more than what you know, then therefore you have to expand the limits of your mentorship. Okay. You have to enlarge the, the capacity base of your mentorship. Okay. So it is the men mentorship uh, that you receive that will determine the impact that you're going to leave in any field, in any area of your endeavor. Whatever you do, it is how far you've learned, which determines how far you, 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 you of course, will be effective proportion to how far you've learned. Okay. You cannot do what you, you, you didn't do. Then you find that people want to live a life through maybe trial and error, like, oh, let me do this. As long as you want to do something that you, you are not acquainted to, of course you would cause chaos. Let's take, for instance, where electricity is concerned. You, you don't have any idea, not a genius in terms of electricity. You want to start now. The electric shocks now. <laughs> of course. So therefore, your mentorship determines how far you can have impact on Earth. OK. Yes. Now, exactly. Now, I, I, I want to ask, um, in your own uh, thinking, what do you think is uh, the maximum number of mentors one can have in a certain area? Or in one area, for example, if someone is a poet, if someone is a dancer, because on that board show you've got a lot of people come to sing, people come to dance, and everyone has been given a gift anyway. So um, how many mentors can one have in one area? Well, uh, therefore, there is, not a, there, there is no prescribed uh, limit. You can only accumulate as many mentors as as many as you would want regarding to how much you want to ex how much you want to be excellent because what we look for is excellence mm -hmm. and i believe in every man being lies a seed of greatness yeah. everyone on earth wants to be great exactly you find that the, the pursuit of greatness everyone wants to be great that is why people try out a lot of things <laughs> someone will go into school to maybe to study medicine course of course yeah. because we know at here in zambia if you are a medical doctor maybe a lawyer you are given high esteem in the society exactly so if people go in that field they find that after they are given the privilege maybe to, to study medicine, again, they want to upgrade. That upgrade, is, I've come to realize that in any course that you, are, you do, maybe you study, the, the feeling of you wanting to do more, it is because you don't feel satisfied. It is that aging in you that comes like, no, let me do more than this. It, it shows that people are not yet satisfied. So it is, how, the question would be, how much excellence do you want in your area of your gifting? So the more excellence you want, the more you accumulate mentors. Okay. Because I believe we need mentors in every category of our life. Because we need mentors who look up to, that we look up to in terms of health. You have to have, have a mentor who will be like, no, my picky, taking alcohol is not good for your health. You die young. Maybe taking, uh, maybe smoking a cigarette, you die young. Let's say, for instance, if maybe I start smoking today, at this very tender age, I start smoking. Of course, uh, it will be a temporal gratification. I'll start smoking. Then in the next 15 years, I'll, I'll have lung cancer. It means all my plans that I had for my life will be short circuit. You, they will be short circuit. Exactly. So we need mentors in every area, and therefore we're not restricted to the number of mentors. We need as many as we can gather. <laughs> OK, so now I, I know there's someone who is watching, and they're asking themselves, OK, I think I can sing. Me, my inbox church, you know, I can sing. But the, 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 they're trying to look at it is, I know a lot of people who can sing others. How can I identify to say, I think this person can mentor me? What are some of the characteristics that I can see in a mentor? What are some of the things that can help me identify someone who can mentor me in a certain area? Okay, um, there is a saying that they say, uh, birds of the same feathers, they usually fly together, okay? okay? Yeah. So therefore, if you want to look out for a mentor, mm -hmm. I believe there's someone who can sing well, but if you look at maybe they are they, they don't have integrity, probably maybe they don't have a strong character. Okay. So therefore, you look at someone who is doing what you want to do, then they've got character that is solid. Um, I also defined something so captivating in the book uh, on the definition of a friend. Mm. People on earth, they will say a friend is someone that you are close to, you might confide in, probably you might share secrets with, maybe someone whom you, you trust, but that's not enough anyway. Um, I defined a friend in the book uh, as... A friend can be anyone who is willing to make you reach your destiny. And if you can analyze that statement, my pick, you find that people that you consider your friend, probably not even your friend. Maybe yeah. in every the circle that you have, maybe there might five of them that you say, these are my best friend. You might find that none of them is your best friend. Mm -hmm. A friend is anyone who is willing that you reach your destiny. And there are a few people that want you to reach your destiny. 
the moment you start saying no, since I'm a presenter at maybe Prism TV, probably I want to upgrade myself. I, I go and be a presenter maybe at DWTV or probably maybe BBC. They'll be like, no, you can't do that. No, that's a show of time because they don't want you to be great. There are few people who want your greatness. Who wants you to be great? So therefore, a friend can be only, can be only anyone who wants you to be great. That's okay. what they can say on that point. Anyway. Amazing, amazing. So um, I know some people who are talented. I mean, we've got Vincent here. Vincent is an author. He plays drums. He does poetry. Yeah, yeah. Very talented person. Um, is it some, there's a point which you wrote in your book. Uh, so if you may ask, what are some of the characteristics that one should develop if they themselves are to become a mentor? Because you don't want to die with your gift. I mean, you want to multiply your gift. You've yeah, got a yeah, seed yeah. in you. You have to make it grow and uh, plant it in others. So what are some of the characters or attributes that one should develop in order to become a mentor? Okay. Uh, if you want to become a mentor, first of all, you have to have integrity. Of course, integrity has to be integrity. there. Integrity? Yes. Then you have to be someone who, who mean what you say. Uh, your circle should know what you don't like. People around you, they should know how to approach you. People should know how to talk to you. Then uh, you should be lead. You should lead by example. Okay. Because you don't want to lead people when they look at you. You're not there. Because you know what? When it comes even to the battlefield, you find that the commanders, people that are who, who forge age, they will be ahead of you. Be ahead of so you. therefore, if you want to be a mentor, you have to, first of all to lead by example. Lead by example. You have to be motivating. Motivating. Because if you're working with someone, you want them to learn something from you. It is the environment that you're going to create and the atmosphere that to make them even feel empowered. Okay. Yes, because empowerment simply means you have to share assignments, you have to delegate work to them. Delegate they have to work. feel that they are important. One of the great uh, writers, uh, Peter Johnson, said, uh, I don't call my employees as employees. It's like I'm degrading them. I call them my, my associates or my colleagues. Because if you treat a man well, it is a seed that you plant in them. They will reciprocate that seed, okay? Um, if you look at the man, the way he is, he will be, be, he will be worse than not the way he is. But if you look at a man with a sight of looking at who they may become, they will change. Let's say, for instance, you're a father in the home, or maybe probably a mother. Then you've got this child who is hanging out with maybe a wrong crowd, probably maybe they are into smoking, yeah, mm -hmm. alcoholism. When you sit them down, you'll be like, no, it's just one as Vera. You will suffer first. Trust me, they will be worse than that. But if you can sit someone down and say, look, you are so handsome to be taking alcohol, and you are so beautiful to be taking alcohol, this does not suit you. You talk to them in a comforting way. They will realize that they can, they can do better than that. Wow, so if you amazing. want to be a mentor, you have to be accommodating. Accommodating. People want to be around someone whom they feel comfortable with. Comfortable. For me to come to my pick and tell you, no, I've got this problem, I have to see you that you're accommodating, accommodating. and you've got a listening ear. So some, those are some of the qualities that you have to cultivate as a, as a mentor. Now, now, now quickly, j j just tell us, um, you know, the, the issue of mentorship is a, is a big thing because y you are calling it the gateway to uncommon success. So w w what is the relationship that a mentor and a mentee should develop, the mentor to mentee relationship? How should it be? On what level should the mentor to mentee relationship be? Uh, basically, a mentor to mentee relationship, uh, it, is, uh, a mentee, it is mentee focused, it is the, the, the one who is like a client in this relationship, it is a mentee. <laughs> the mentee is a client. Because the first quality that the mentee should look out for, they have to pursue the mentor. A mentor won't change you meetings for you. No, I want to see you, my pick, come, we meet by this place and they organize even lunch for you. Mm -hmm. that, that won't happen. As a mentee, it is you who is supposed to schedule meeting. No, would you mind if we meet for lunch? Then when you meet for lunch, you come with a notebook full of questions. Okay, sir, how should I go about this? It is you who is supposed to seek your mentee. It is a principle of pursuit. In this book, I said the proof of passion, it is what you pursue. Meaning for us to know that, okay, this is what you want. We'll see your passion in that thing, okay? So therefore, the mentee to mentee relationship, it is focused on the protege, which is a mentee. The, the mentor has already achieved. He, has, he or she has already lived their life on their terms, okay? So therefore, it is you who wants to benefit from them. So you have to pursue them. Then you have to be they have to know that they are, they are, you, are, you are so proud of them. One of the writers that have ever read most of his books, Dr. Mike Maddock, he said, these great people that we see around, they've got an invisible note tied in their neck saying, am I better or am I doing anything better in life? These great people that we look out to, they, are, they have that age in them to, they want to be appreciated, okay? So your mentor should, your mentor should know that you appreciate them. Write a note to them. Text them, say, tell them good things, buy them something. I also formulated a, a list in that book which will help you analyze your life if probably 
I've be, if I've been helpful to my mate, they have to feel appreciated. You can buy a pair of, of trousers for them. You can buy shoes for them to feel appreciated. <laughs> Amazing. I think I'm becoming a mentor soon. If you want to become a mentor to me, you can please contact me through the lines that are passing through your screen and I can be a mentor. I can be buying me a pair of trousers okay. every month. Amazing. If you're just joining us, thank you for just joining us. You've been just been talking through the Art Involvement Show with an author of a book called the gateway to uncommon success, which is mentorship, and he has been giving us insights on how we can grow and we can develop our gifts, skills, and our talents through mentorship, and we can achieve this uncommon success. If you want to get a copy of this book, be sure to like our Facebook page. It's the Art Embodiment Show or Prism Africa. We'll be sharing more of Savius Mutale's insights about this book, and you will be able to get yourself a copy of this great, great book that is new in town. Now, Savia, as we wrap up, what would be your last words to a viewer who is watching you right now? Uh, my last uh, comments would be, I'm a product of mentorship myself. Okay. Uh, my life reflects mentorship. I've received mentorship from a tender age. I've been exposed to a great audience, like to speak uh, to an audience of more than maybe 100 people, 200 people because of mentorship. Uh, my speech of father, Bishop Crispin Songiso, Pastor Xola, all these people, Sarafio has mentored me in the book writing. So all I am, it's because of the mentorship that I've received. And I owe these people something big. And if you want to do more than what you're doing now, if you want to go far, look out for someone who is far in that place, who has achieved more than you. Because these people, they've endured more than you. They've seen more than you. So if you want to become great, don't see greatness. Just pursue a mentor. Then probably greatness, in fact, it will unfold on itself. So don't kill yourself. Because the pursuit of mentorship, people end up killing themselves. The rate of suicide now is increasing now. You find that it's because people, they wanted to pursue something, then they didn't know how to go about it. Then the episode now ended in frustration. They will just, the, the option is now doomed now. <laughs> so, let's seek mentors in our lives. Will be amazing. Thank you so much, Savia. It's, it's been, been amazing been having you on the show. Please, if, 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 you want to, if, if, if you want to build a car, uh, don't start by trying to think, how am I going to make the wheels? There's someone who has already made the wheels. So please, find a mentor for yourself in the area of your gifting. It's the Art Embodiment Show. And right about next, we're just going to go on a short break. And when we are coming back, we are giving you the stuff that you like. Because ladies and gentlemen, talent is in the house. And we are always giving you the best and the best for the week. Because Team Yes, so if you've ever heard of these guys, these guys are firemen. These guys are firemen. And they're giving us the best for this show. So be sure to tune in right after this short break. And when we come back, it's more fire from the show. <laughs> Thank you so much, bro. That was insightful. Okay. Great. We're done. We're done. Uh, no. uh, it's uh, Tim Yesu now. Is Benjamin in the house? Uh, no. Okay. Like, like Richard and the team, like they're here, except that Richard is not here. So, like, so we only have Ah, this guy. This guy should be the last guy, as gay as, as usual. Okay, so. Mm -hmm.
Welcome back. So, um, what should I say? <clears throat> like a sheep following a shepherd, I found a mentor on a sheep, and oh, he told me that the gateway to uncommon success is mentorship. How do I sound? I sound like a poet, right? <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. If you're just joining us back, welcome back. It's your favorite show of the week. It's the Art Embodiment Show, a place where we give you the best, best of the week. And here with me in the studio today, we've got very uncommon people who are very common to those who know them because they're very common people. And they are called, what's the name again? Team. Yes. Team. Yes. Team. Yes. 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 If you're not doing anything for Christ, man, what are you doing? I mean, what are you doing with your gift? To everyone a gift has been given, you're not doing it for Christ. You just, you, I mean, find something to do, to do about it. It will be fun. So, okay, team, yes, guys, welcome to the show. It's, great, it's not good to only have one lady. I love ladies. Why are you guys only having guys? <laughs> Okay, so, team, yes, what are you guys giving us today? Yeah, so much. We've got uh, great music for you. Great music? Great uh, what else do you do, you guys do apart from music? Dance. We dance. You guys do dance. We do dance. Like the Chimomo dance. Or? Oh, so, from the Gopa. Oh, okay, okay, no, 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 someone just, just, just show me something. How, how, how do you go about the Chimomo dance? First of all, where we come from, yeah. it's not this common one. Yeah. It starts from here. Then you bring it down. Give yeah. us. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, awesome. I, I, I think to me, you should give us a dance. You know, you guys, you guys, you guys okay, how, how do you, okay, whatever. Why did you teach you that you do not dance? There's also this dance. I don't uh, know. Oh, <laughs> you guys are amazing. Okay, so yeah. guys, uh, I'm going to leave the stage up to you. You guys, you can give us the sweetest of music. Uh, how many songs are you giving us today? Six. Six songs. Amazing. Did you guys write these songs or you are just uh, singing them? We, we wrote. <laughs> you guys wrote the songs? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I found a mentor today. <laughs> mentor in writing songs, even though I'm not buying you guys a pair of trousers. Believe me. <laughs> I think that so, 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 yeah, so, yeah, so, 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 we'll, we'll talk about that. We'll negotiate mentor to mentee relationship. You know? we'll, we'll talk about it. It won't be a pair of trousers. It's perhaps it'll be a good morning every day. I'm a nice person. With that. Yeah. I mean, yes, you guys. Come on. Okay. So, uh, Tim, yes, you guys are ready? Yes. Okay, so guys, give us the best hit. By the way, I didn't get your names. What's your name? Rock Peter Africa, but this is how I introduce myself. Okay. My name is Ashlon, yeah, but you can call me Rock Peter Africa. Africa. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> the voice just, the voice just. <laughs> and what is? <laughs> okay, but what's your name? What's your name? What's your name? <laughs> uh, my name is Taonga TC. Taonga TC? Yes. So like TC, Taonga, what? what? TC. Like what, what's TC? Taonga TC, Taonga Sambi, so it's TC. Oh, it's TC, it's yes. TC. So your name is Taonga. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what, what's your name? Christ Kada. Huh? Christ Kada. Christ Kada? Yeah, I'm the producer of Tim Yesu. Oh, you're the Kada for Christ? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's the Makada. <laughs> amazing, amazing. What's yeah, your name? Yes, my name is Stepid. Yeah? My name is Stepid. Like it's a question. Okay. Then I'm Zayasi. Now, this is how we do it. Can you tell them who I be? Okay. Oh, I know, I know, I know. I'm still trying to get it. Okay, okay, so uh, just do that again. Can you tell them who will be? The the Amazing. <laughs> you guys, okay, I, you know what, I, I'm really upset with this guy. I, I, I call myself too, but if I stand oh, with sorry. me. Oh, oh, this is really bad. This guy is really challenged me. Hey, 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 hey. He's my mentor in height. What's your name? Chief Aiden. Huh? Chief Aiden. Chief Aiden. Yeah, Aiden. Aiden. Yeah. Chief Aiden. Yeah. So, why are you calling him? Chief Aiden. Aiden. Is that how you guys do that? <laughs> Amazing. Okay, so Team Yes, you guys, uh, give us the best of the voices because we just want to hear the sweet, sweet melody of your voices, you guys. You guys are ready? Yeah, sure. Ready. All right, so the producer is going to give us a song and whoop, over to you. <laughs> okay. That's how I leave it, just like that. That's how we live, just like that. Let's go.
Songs, guys. <laughs> hey, 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 Ah, they deserve a clap. They deserve a clap.
Peace, awesome. Peace. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, 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 I'm becoming a dancer today. All right, thank you so much, guys, for joining us on the RT Embodiment Channel. We're always giving you the best for the week. Remember, you can always catch us live on Facebook and live on YouTube. Just search for Prism Africa and click the like button. And don't forget to subscribe because when you subscribe, we're giving you more of the latest RT Embodiment Show episodes that are coming to your screens every Thursday on Prism Africa, 18 hours. Right about now in the house as I asked Team Yes to leave. Guys, do you want Team Yes to leave? Or maybe we should just have them the whole night, you know? <laughs> All right, so as I asked Tim Yesi to leave, I have a special person in the house, okay? Uh, Benjamin. Benjamin is going to give us a poem. Uh, I'm going to ask you guys to leave now. Thank you very awesome. much. Awesome. We're having, we're having you guys more on the show. <laughs> Believe me, we're having you guys more. I, I want to learn how to dance. These guys have finally found the mentor. Savia, if you're watching me, I found the mentor in dancing. Uh, I'll just ask uh, Benjamin to come. Benjamin is going to give us a poem. It's been bell since we heard the poetry here, you know. Um, okay, I'm not a poet, so it's a, it's, it's a bit tough for me to, 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 get, to get to the point. So, um, uh, 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 whatever these guys think, uh, Benjamin, you can come, please. Uh, so, Benjamin is going to give us a piece. Uh, what's the name of your poem? Uh, the name of the poem is Satisfaction. Satisfaction. So that's a piece you're going to give us. Um, okay, so we just go on a short break just for a few seconds, and when we come back, he is giving us on a piece on satisfaction. So be sure to tune in when we come back after this short, short break. Oh, uh, I forgot this. Oh, he has a microphone. I thought he didn't have. Okay. Okay, we're good. And if you've ever watched Rango, this is how it starts. Kwang Kwang. And we are back. So, Benjamin, um, okay. I want to hear your poem. Do you have a stage name? <laughs> Ah, no, just go by the name of Benjamin, that's all. Benjamin. Yeah. Okay, give us a best shot. All right, thanks so much. Sure. All right, uh, the name of the poem, once again, is uh, Satisfaction. Hope you'll be blessed by it. When this world arouses our cravings for satisfaction, it proves to be nothing more than a Trojan, with a dangerous seduction, making us consumed with its pills and potions, in depth to lust. Man, I think we pay these pills with emotions because our addiction becoming entities that drive us to uncomprehensible motions because we are chained to the rhythm. That's why we are dancing to distortions. Lose the groove of the flesh in case you didn't catch that line in purity. And the moment we begin to frequently give in to our desires, we become dependent. Trying to find a way out of their addiction, but our freedom makes us in. Dependent. Can I ask a simple question? When has this world ever promised you satisfaction and actually came through for you? Without it bro breaking the bones of your mirrors of a harsh reflection, constantly tormenting your mind and leading your body to depression, because our bodies are incarcerated, or should I say imprisoned, to whatever makes love to our five senses. Cause five, roses smell <sighs> intoxicatingly good when you're in hell. Please tell me if it burns. Four, the taste that makes your mouth drew like a watery fountain gashing out from the worlds of the unquenched windows. Three sounds, ha, don't stop listening. As close your two <laughs> eyes to increase your urge for satisfaction, making you desire what touch was enough to cause a volcanic eruption. Because your thoughts have deceived you. That you have the power in your hands to take and bring back happiness when you choose to. At last as this guy's pitching a tent before camping out. Plus with your pitiful average, setting bait for your master, but now you've been called master bait. <laughs> oh! But, it's alright, because we are constantly picking promising with the walls not to reveal the skeletons in our closet trying to not let the cat out the bag as let the cat out the bag and if you ask Moses, he'll tell you these lines always pass over your heads. <laughs> so humans, let these desires go for they are nothing but a bunch of broken promises stitched up trying to convince you that they have what you need when you are the one who has what they need. Why are they after you then? Whoa. They want to ruin your life. Crush your hope, seal your fate, 
But this is where the gospel meets us because it's never too late to turn back to him who promised us that whoever drinks of the water he shall give him will become in him a fountain of water dwelling into eternal life for he shall quench your thirst and give you endless satisfaction. And we just stop fighting over the crumbs that fell off the table because God has already given us the bread of life and we are entitled <laughs> to partake in it and it is him. And trust me, you shall not hunger for games. And trust me, do not desire things which are seen, for they are temporal. But now, oh yes, desire things which are not seen, for they are eternal. And I can guarantee you, brethren, you shall find what I call true satisfaction. That's perfect, that. perfect, perfect. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, I know Vincent heard that. <laughs> hey, amazing piece, amazing piece, bro. Hey, I, I'm, I'm still trying to think about it, how you're just connecting the words. I mean, what goes through your mind when making these words? How do you make up these words? What goes through your mind? I mean? <laughs> oh, bro, one simple word I'll say is the Lord, the Holy Spirit itself. The Holy Spirit. Being guided by the Lord to write according to what he has assigned you to do. Wow. Perfect. I really love your piece, bro. I appreciate it. Another mentor in poetry. I mean, more mentors. And we're not buying your trousers, but we, we're going to give you something, perhaps, you know, to, oh, to be a mentor. It. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Benjamin, thank you so much for being part of the show. No, we I'm really old, appreciate I'm your old. presence. Your, your piece was awesome. Like, seriously, I, I want to start learning how to do poetry. I don't know how to do this thing, how to well, speak, well, no, how to think. Classes, tutorials afterwards. Okay, tutorials. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going for tutorials. Okay, so right about now, we're always giving you the best for the week on the art in board mention. Right about now, we just go on a very short break and when we come back we are giving you the guitar sound do i sound like the people who play the guitar amazing so when we come back from this short break we're giving you the best touch and the last touch remember the last touch is always the best on the art board make sure so you'll be sure to tune in back right after this short short break okay so everybody on stage um so the last part we ended with everybody on stage. So everybody's coming on stage and I'm asking for two chairs. I always give you the best, best, best of the week. And today, guess what? We got a surprise for you because 
one of the legends just reappeared out of the blues. If you watch wrestling, this should be the Undertaker. <laughs> because you know, it's been there since we had Kedrick on the show. And guess what, Kedrick, bro? Welcome. And guess what? Today is Kedrick's birthday. Like he was born today. I, 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 got, a, I got a bucket of water. Where is it? We're going to pour you water, bro. <laughs> and we're going to ask our singers to sing him a happy birthday song. And we got beautiful voices, except for me, the Chilea guy. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fit it, believe me. Okay, let's go. Happy birthday to you. This guy's voice, eh? Happy birthday to you. Okay, let's try to follow in. Happy birthday, dear Kedrick. Okay, I'm the guy with Chile. Happy birthday to you. Amazing, amazing, amazing. You should, should, should be able to do the dance for us. You know, you should be able to do the dance for us before the show ends. Happy birthday, Kendrick. We love you so much. Kendrick is a very, very talented debater. He's actually the vice chairperson of the Crystal University Debate Association. Allow me to just simply say, all protocols highly observed, sir. I salute, I submit. I salute you. What do you say? Okay, whatever you say, you guys. <laughs> Amazing. We've been joined with awesome people today on the show. And on my left, we got a surprise. Kevin Sikopande is in the house. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a talented guy. He plays instruments. Keyboard, he sings, he does poetry. I'm my touch of the voice. You get that? It's not that. I mean, welcome on the show. This is another awesome person. What's your name, bro? Andrew is on the show again. Andrew is a talented person. What does he do? He makes hairstyles for you. If you want a hairstyle, come to Andrew. He's gonna make a hairstyle for you. And I know, I know, there's someone here who needs a hairstyle. My name is this dances. Okay, so, uh, brother Richard, uh, brother, whom have you come with today? Uh, this is my brother, Kavamba. Kavamba. Okay, do you also play guitar? You know? It's nice to touch these things, you know? <laughs> Alright, so, brother, what are you giving us today? Uh, today we are just going to do covers for songs. Okay. Yes, yeah, so the first song we're going to do is a cover by Pompey. The song then by Pompey Capelli. Ha, give us your way. Yeah. Okay. Bashar Bashar, Sisi, I'm flying on the UAU UFO. I can be great and the step last. Flying on the UAU UFO. Even who I am enough for you. Babe, I can get the capital. Or so I thought. You see a king in me, and I think I trust in you. Who can you do that? It's on me. Kapena muti mauza kumela. Gadi ni chikondi. Kapena muti mauza kumzewa. I'll take my tears and fears and let me drown them all in the waste of tears. Gadi ni chikondi. Kapena muti mauza kumela. Na isu ngasindi nisina zona. Look back, na silly me. She told me accountability, but to come up as on a cow warning, a man who's a little boring, but show you a different story. You better than a kind of charming, see me up at you, Kondi, like I used to. Hey, high five to the future. Who can you use any chikondi? Capena, what you mouth are conveyed, got any chikondi. Kapena muti mauza konzewa I'll 
take my tears and fears and now we drown them all in your grace to be not in it you couldn't be Capella would see mouths that couldn't look any old and it you couldn't be Capella would see mouths that couldn't look any old and it you couldn't be Capella would see mouths that couldn't be I'll take my tears and fears and now we drown them all in your grace to be not in it you couldn't be I'll take my tears and fears and I will drown them all in your grace Okay, so the next song we're going to do is uh Epon did done by God's vessels. It's a song that encourages me, it's a song that encourages him and everybody else that listens to the song. It tells, do not worry, God is with you. Yeah. Chaka kuleke Chili na iwe Tachaka kusheweka Chamu ya 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 Mwana wandi wisaka mana Pantu nemo epondi Nangu wifin tufishu peshani Faya wishiwe epondi Mwana wandi
Let me have a touch on this thing. I love, I, I love yeah. to touch this thing. Okay, 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 okay. So I'm gonna play something. Okay, can I have a sit? Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see how this goes. If I, if, 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 if I play Chile, yeah, don't mind. <laughs> How was awesome. that? <laughs> <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, now listen, you can be part of this show live every Thursday, 18 hours on Prism Africa. It's the art embodiment show. If you want to know more topics and more people that are bringing to you on the show, like our Facebook page, it's the art embodiment show. And we'll be sharing this link and this video right on that page. And you can also catch the revisit on YouTube. Just type Prism Africa. And when you search for Prism Africa, you got to find us there. Kwangwang and we're gonna give you this very same link and this very same video right here on YouTube. Now as we close I'll just ask the DJ to give us Tinyesi's song because we want to do that <laughs> dance you know we want these guys uh, to, to do no we want to do no we want to do no you know we want to do no so yeah or maybe I should just play it with the guitar <laughs> 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 Oh, let's stand for this one. <laughs> <laughs> 